hey guys and welcome back in this video we shall see how to reset password or retrieve the user id of your sbi credit card so there are two ways to do that the first one is by using website if you have access to a computer then you can open up a browser and then open up sbicard.com or the other way is by using sbi card application so for that you can just download this sbi card application on your phone it is available for both ios as well as android phones so you can download it after you download it you can see there's one option which says forgot login details you can tap on that then it's going to ask for your credit card number so you have to provide the number here and then you will have to enter your cvv number I will just quickly do that then after that you have to enter your date of birth now make sure that you enter the date of birth that you have provided while applying for the credit card then after that you just have to tap here which says generate OTP and then one OTP that is the one time password is going to be sent to your registered mobile number and also you can see the last four digits of the registered mobile number which is going to receive this otp so you just have to enter that otp here and then after that just scroll down till you find this button which says continue just tap on it now on the next page your user id will be displayed so this is my user id and this is my name so you can see the name as well as the user id of my sbi card account now if you remember your password and you were just looking for your username then you can tap here which says take me to login and then you can enter the password and then you will be able to access your sbi card account otherwise if you have forgotten your password also then you can tap here which says new password and then you will have to enter a new password so let me just enter a password here and it says the password should be at least 12 characters including one uppercase one lowercase one number and a one special character and that's why my password is not meeting the criteria so i'll have to change this now once you have entered your password twice and they are matching you are good to go and you can just tap here on update password and you can see that my password has been updated successfully and you will receive one sms intimating that your password was successfully updated and you might be wondering why sbi is not asking for any otp while we were updating the password it is so because we have already entered our otp because of which we have been granted access to the account and hence it was not required to enter the otp once again and that's why we were able to update the password right away now you can tap here which says take me to login and then you can enter your username and then tap here on that arrow all right then enter your password which you have updated just now and then tap here on that arrow once again just tap on continue now the app is going to verify your mobile so just let it verify you can send the sms And then after that your device will be verified as a trusted device and then you will be able to use this device for your sbi card application and once again you are going to receive one otp which you have to enter here and then tap on link device now on this page you can create one m pin so that you can directly open up the app without having to enter the long password just tap on done and then tap on continue and you can manage your m pin in settings section later in the application all right then you'll have to tick mark this one which says i have read the terms and conditions for use of digital platforms just tap on accept and if your phone has a touch id or a face id then you can enable that also for a faster access to the app so i'll just enable it and this is the home screen or the dashboard of the sbi card application so if you have reinstalled the app or you are installing this app on a new phone then you have to go through all these steps 
once again because your phone has to be verified as a trusted device before it can be linked with your SBI card application so you don't have to worry about that but in case if you have just logged out of the application and you just want to log in again then verification will not happen anyways that's all for this video i hope you were able to change the login password or retrieve the username of your sbi card account so i'm going to see you in the next video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching